Hey guys, Dylan here with your weekly product update. I'm really excited about this week's product. What this is, the ADI disc brake system. It's a Medicare coded disc brake, true braking system for manual chairs. In the manual mobility industry, we have a terrible habit of calling over center wheel locks brakes. When in actuality, they are just that, locks. What this system is, is a full on brake system. We call this the variable lever system. It's a one lever system, actuates both, both wheels simultaneously. And the reason we call it the variable lever system is you have five variable stages of braking force all the way into your fifth, which is your full on lock. What this allows you to do is preset the brakes before taking on different terrains such as hills, ramps, uneven terrain, or even simple applications like sitting at a desk and to prevent from rolling away while typing. This lever can be mounted right side, left side, back cane, rigidizer bar, or even under the frame, whatever matches the accessibility for the client. A nice benefit of this lever is that locked or unlocked, you still maintain quick release capabilities with the tires. This is an advantage for those who transfer themselves independently and are in and out, in and out of their car multiple times a day. Um, the lever is, the disc brake system is coded E2228. That is a wheelchair braking system. Stealth has documentation available online such as mock elements and list of biomechanical and mechanical benefits of the brakes to help with justification purposes. The disc brake system was designed by Todd Hartroder of ADI. He's the former owner of ADI and now a senior engineer of Stealth. He designed it with mountain bike brake parts. So disc and calipers are both robust and can handle whatever forces any end user may, may exert into the system. Uh, the disc brake system does come with multiple different lever interfaces. The variable lever is one of the more popular styles. We do offer a bicycle style braking lever. It's called the pair lever. And what it is is actually two levers mounted, one on each side of the chair. These levers control each side independently, granting the end user full chair control. So to put it quite simply, if you're going downhill and you squeeze the right lever, you'll turn right. So full ability to steer the chair, control the chair, and still maintain that locking capability for safe transfers. We also offer an attendant lever for tilt and space chairs or any lever or any chair that's needing an attendant style break. Uh, we can use our variable lever or the bicycle style and you still maintain that locking capability. That allows you to lock the chair safely out of the way of the client, come around front, talk with the client, reposition the client, buckle the client in, or even feed the client. A huge advantage we're gonna gain from using a disc brake system was we're not depending on tire condition or tire pressure for proper locking. With the brakes breaking from the center like this, we can change out our wheels. So for instance, if we're using our everyday throughout the week, and then on the weekend we wanna go out to the lake and put on our knobbies, we can make that change quickly without the need for adjustment of these locks. Um, also, as our tires get wet, as we wear them down over time, we're not gonna have to continually have to adjust these locks. It's just using this brake, going from that same consistent spot on the disc. 